everyone, so today's video is going to be an update for my makeup rolling project pan. So this is just my year long makeup project pan. And I did make some good progress on products. I will be rolling in a couple new products, so I don't have much else to say. I will have my playlist for this project linked down below if you want to go see the previous updates or the intro to this. But let's just go ahead and get straight into the update. So the first product I have is my IT Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil. And I got this in a BoxyCharm. I usually don't pan brow pencils, but I just want this out of my collection. So I'm putting it in this project sort of to force myself to use it. So this is the only brow pencil I have been using this year pretty much because it has been in this project and there's a tiny little bit left. I feel like I can finish this within a couple months. I really just want this to be out of my collection. It's taking so long. I have used this 68 times in total. I believe this has only been in this project for a few months though. So here are the update lines. So as you can see each update, I have been making a tiny bit of progress. I made some good progress this last update as well. So by the looks of it, I will have this finished in the next couple months, either two or three months, hopefully sooner rather than later because I'm really just over this brow pencil. And it's not too bad because I mean, it's a brow pencil. It's not like the most exciting part of my makeup routine. So I don't mind using this every day. I just want it out of my collection to try new products and just to move on to other brow products. The next product is a lip liner. I believe I rolled this in a couple months ago, but this is the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in the shade Vintage Rose. So obviously there is quite a bit of this left. This will take me pretty long to finish, but I have used this 36 times so far. So I am using this most times that I do my makeup. And here are those updates li update lines. So right at the top of the page there, you can see I've been making pretty good progress each month. And I am really happy with the progress I have been making. I made really good progress last month, especially. I feel like this is the easiest shade to just throw on. It's pretty much the exact same shade as my lips. So it's really easy as an everyday lip liner. So I feel like I am going through this pretty quickly, but it will still take me a pretty long time to finish. The next product is a highlighter. This is from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Night Light, and I am trying to hit pan on this, and I do have a pretty good dip going in here. You'll see in the photos, but I feel like I can hit pan on this by the next update, and I'm really, really excited for this one because I feel like it didn't take me too long to hit pan on this. I feel like it's only been like two or three months, and there is a pretty big dip going in there. And I have been using this as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I've been dipping in with like a pencil brush. So I feel like that's how I make the most progress. But I like to use my highlighters that way anyways. Usually the highlighter I apply to my face, I will also apply on my inner, cor inner corner and brow bone. So I'm not like purposely trying to dig in here with a pencil brush. That's just how I like to use my highlights. And of course, I've also been using this on my cheeks as well. So this one I also use almost every time I do my makeup. And so far I have used this 33 times. So I think I definitely will hit pan pretty soon. I'm not sure how deep these pans are, but I feel like I've made a really good dent in it so far. The next product is a face powder. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. And I have been working on this for quite a while. As you can see, I have huge pan in here. I feel like I need to repress this because it's kind of difficult to pick up product with my brush, but I have used this 30 times so far. And I think if I repress this, this will go pretty quickly. I feel like since all the product is focused around the edges, I'm just not able to pick it up as easily. So I've been procrastinating on repressing this, but I feel like I just have to do it right now. So I will set this aside to repress probably after this video but I am really, really excited to almost have this done. And there are a couple other powders in my collection that I want to finish off. Powder is a category in my makeup inventory that I just have too many. And it's not like the most exciting category. So I feel like I don't need many powders in my collection, but it just takes so long to go through them. So I'm happy to almost have one finished off. I feel like this will, st will still take a few more months for me to finish though. The next product that I did roll in the last update is my ABH Sultry palette. So I decided that I want to include an eyeshadow palette in this project. 
obviously one at a time and I want to work on my cream shades in my collection so I'm trying to hit pan on this cream shade right here and I just have so many of those shades in my collection and I never really use it usually I don't like setting my primer down with like a cream colored shadow but since I do have these types of shades in eyeshadow palettes I just want to try to get some use out of it and this also helps me get use out of my eyeshadow palettes in general because I haven't just been dipping into this cream shade I also have dipped into this matte shade I would like to hit pan on as well just as like a bonus pan but I've also dipped into some of these metallics as well so this is really just to help me use my eyeshadow palettes in general, even though my main goal is to hit pan on the cream shade. And I think I have made some pretty good progress. There is a really good dip going in here. I'm not sure how long it will take me to hit pan. I'm thinking in either the next month or two, so hopefully not too long with this one. And I have used this 23 times so far. And the usage I'm counting is just dipping into the cream shade. So I've dipped into the cream shade 23 times and it was basically untouched when I rolled it into this project. The next product that I believe I also rolled in the last update is my ColourPop So Juicy Gloss in the shade Princess Cut. This is just a clear gloss, it's super old. But I want to finish this off. Obviously, there is a ton of product left. I haven't let it settle yet to see my progress lines, but I have only used this 10 times since the last update. It is the gloss that I'm wearing on my lips right now, so it's super glossy. Obviously, it's clear, so it can go over any lip color. So I find this just really easy to use, and I do want to eventually finish this off. So I did throw it in the, this project just to see how much progress I could make on it. But I will let this settle and then insert the photo of my progress. So I do enjoy using this. It gives that sort of tingly feeling, but it is also really, really sticky. So I don't love wearing this all the time just because it is so sticky. So like if I'm wearing my hair out and actually going out into the world, I feel like this is not the gloss I would choose to apply. But I do like wearing it just for every day, sort of to throw on a gloss, almost just to nourish my lips a little bit. And I do like that tingly feeling. So I have been getting some use out of this. I have used it 10 times, like I said. And this I really just threw in here to see how much progress I could make on it. I don't think I'm going to end up finishing this off this year. Now getting into the exciting updates, the products that I have finished off. So first, which you all probably saw this coming, is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer that I've been working on for pretty long. I, this only took me 11 more uses to completely finish and I found that it was getting a little bit dried up and it definitely was not my favorite concealer. In fact, this is probably my least favorite concealer that I've ever tried. So I'm really happy to have this finished off and it was just a little mini. It took me 39 uses to completely finish off so I'm glad to have this one done. And then the next one I am really happy to be rolling out of this project because I was getting so sick of it is this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip in the shade Patina. I did use this 23 times since the last update, so I've been applying it pretty much every time I wear makeup. And it did take me 45 uses to pretty much completely finish this. If I really wanted to, I could continue to use this and get product out. Also, I don't use this as a liquid lipstick. I do use it as a cream blush. So obviously I feel like I use a lot less product that way because it is so pigmented, but I am just so sick of this and it is starting to sort of dry out. For the most part, I did get a lot of the product out of here. And this is just also really old in my collection. So I will be calling this one done and I am happy with the progress that I made on it. And now to roll in a couple new products. So like I said, I did use that liquid lipstick as a blush and I do want to try to use some of my cream products a little bit more. So I want to roll in my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Aphrodisiac. This is just a really pretty sort of brownie sunkissed type of blush, which I really love, especially for the summertime. This is like my favorite type of blush tone to wear just for every day. So my goal will be to hit pan on this. There is a good dent already going in here, so I feel like it won't take me too long. So I'm happy to get some use out of this. And then the next product that I'm rolling in, which is also a cream, is this e.l.f. duo in the shade Bronzed Pink Beige. So this is a cream, bronzer, and blush duo. As you can see, I already have pan on the bronzer, and I actually want to continue to work on the bronzer and completely finish it off. So I don't know how long it will take me to completely finish it. 
I'm thinking quite a while. I don't even know if I'll have it finished by the end of the year. I would also like to get some use out of this blush shade, possibly hit pan on it. We'll just see how it goes with this one. But my main goal will be to finish off that bronzer shade, even though there is still a ton of product left. I feel like this will be fun just to work with some more cream products. And I also don't have many cream bronzers in my collection. So I want to sort of go through this one. And then I do want to buy the Salt New York cream bronzer and sort of have those in my collection as my only cream products. But that is it for this update. I'm excited to roll in these two new cream products and make some progress on them. I'm also really happy with my progress on all my other products. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do post new videos about three times a week. So if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.